Amanda Jane Dowler, known as Millie, a 13-year-old English schoolgirl, was reported missing by her parents on March 21, 2002, after failing to return home from school and not being seen since that afternoon's walk along Station Avenue in walton on Thames, Surrey. After an extensive search, Millie's remains were discovered on September 18th in Yeatley Heath Woods, Hampshire. I got nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. Millie Dowler left Heathside School in Weybridge, Surrey, at 3.07 p.m. on March 21, 2002, and walked to Weybridge Railway Station with a friend. The girls got off the train at Walton on Thames, one stop before Millie's usual stop of Hersham, and went to eat at the station cafe. Millie left the cafe at 4.05 p.m. after calling her father at 3.47 p.m. to say she would be home in half an hour, and she walked home alone. She was last seen walking down Station Avenue three minutes later by a sister's friend who was waiting at a bus stop. Millie was reported missing to police at 7 p.m. after failing to return home. A nationwide search ensued, with 100 police officers and helicopters combing the fields, streets, and rivers surrounding Hersham. Many appeals for information were made by police and the Dowler family, including a reconstruction on the BBC's Crime Watch UK. Will Young, the pop idol winner whose concert Millie had attended shortly before her disappearance, also made a plea. The Crime Watch UK appeal included a direct appeal to Millie in the hope that she had voluntarily run away from home. Her mother expressed hope that her daughter had run away, but she couldn't think of any reason why she would do so. A week after Millie's disappearance, no witnesses to a struggle had come forward, despite a number of apparent sightings of her prior to her disappearance. The discovery of a body in the River Thames on April 23, 2002, sparked media speculation that the remains could be those of Millie, but the body was identified the next day as that of 73-year-old Maisie Thomas, who went missing in March 2001 and whose death was not thought to be suspicious. Millie remained missing in June 2002, despite additional searches, a £100,000 reward offered by national tabloid newspaper The Sun, and her parents continuing to send text messages to her mobile phone in the hope of receiving a response. Mushroom pickers discovered naked human remains in Yeatley Heath Woods near Yeatley, Hampshire, on September 18, 2002. They were later identified as Millie's by dental records. The cause of death could not be determined due to the severity of the decomposition. Millie's clothing or possessions, including the purse, rucksack, and mobile phone she was carrying at the time of her disappearance, have never been found. Following the discovery of the body, the police reclassified the case as a homicide investigation. Surrey police conducted the investigation, which was codenamed Operation Ruby. On November 22, 2002, police set up a roadblock near where the body was discovered. 6,000 motorists in the area were interviewed, but no leads were found. Initially, the Surrey police considered Dowler's father a suspect, as family members are frequently implicated in such cases. They later apologized for any missed opportunities caused by their focus on this track. Almost six years later, Surrey police confirmed on February 25, 2008, that a man named Levi Belfield was their primary suspect in the murder investigation and that they were very interested in questioning him following his conviction for the murders of two young female students and the attempted murder of a third. To keep this video under 10 minutes, I will do a story separately on Levi Belfield later on. Belfield's trial began on May 10, 2011 before Mr. Justice Wilkie at the Central Criminal Court and ended on June 23, 2011. The jury found him guilty. The following day, he was sentenced to life in prison, and the trial judge recommended a whole life tariff based on his previous murder convictions three years prior. 
the trial of Belfield on another charge for the attempted abduction of Rachel Cowles, an 11-year-old girl who was offered a lift in the Walton area by a man in a red car on March 20, 2002, was postponed due to prejudicial material published in newspapers. The charge was ordered to be kept on file by the judge. On January 27, 2016, Surrey police announced that Belfield had admitted to the abduction, rape, and murder of Millie. On February 12, 2016, Belfield changed his story, denying that he had confessed to Millie's murder. Levi Belfield yawned as he was led from the courtroom after his conviction, then refused to return to court to be sentenced, and trial judge Mr. Justice Wilkie described him as a cruel and pitiless killer who lacked the courage to appear in court. The judge said he had subjected the young girl's family to the appalling anguish of many months of not knowing what had happened to her. And most cruel of all, during his defense, Belfield's lawyers had suggested that Millie was a troubled teenager who had run away from home. Millie's murder was thrust into the center of the phone hacking scandal after it emerged that the News of the World had hired a private detective who intercepted her voicemails after she went missing. However, that is something I will cover in a future video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper